Hi everybody, thanks for joining me in the shed today. Uh, the kids are at summer camp, so I got a bit of time to get in the shed and play the piano that I've got in here at the minute, which is the Korg SV2. So I'm just gonna play around with the different sounds on it and have some fun. So I'll start with uh, the first sound on this uh, piano, which uh, tells you a lot about its design. It's the electric piano. It's the default one that you get when you turn it on. Then I'll just work my way through. So going to the variation of that, which you can do by uh, pushing in the, the sound knob just here. Uh, the default setting is orange lights, but if you push in the variation button, it'll give you a variation of number one. Uh, sorry, option number two now with electric pianos. button goes green so that's brought in some of the effects uh, preset tremolo in there and a little bit of orange phaser it's called in the modulation Variation three. And it's a variation. So that was really nice, wasn't it? Uh, let's go to number four now. So we're still on the original electric piano one is the type and we're on variation four now. variation it's so evocative uh, of the that era uh, this keyboard that's what I like about it it's uh, you can play that and suddenly be transported. So up to number five now on still on electric piano one. And 
the variation. Again, quite transporting. Um, the minute you touch that one, you can just, it just sends you somewhere else and gets the creative juices going. And it's very laid back and makes you just want to write a laid back sort of song. Uh, so variation six now. It's a variation. Oh, that's really good. Uh, bringing in a bit of a sort of CP effect and a phaser. Uh, in fact, it's turned on the effects by itself in that preset. Uh, going through the twin amplifier, bringing the valve into play, and a classic chorus modulation. Again, so that's just um, Electric Piano 1 and all of its presets and its variations. Uh, so loads in that section alone. So I'm going to go to Electric Piano 2 under sound now and let's try some of the presets there. Starting off with number 1, the orange light, which is the original one, the, uh, the default one. This is where we start to really get into the uh, CP stage piano style things very very perhaps going a bit more 80s than 70s now uh, Variation push in the knob There's a bit of pad underneath there as well. Um, so it's clear the variations, variations will sometimes add uh, an extra voice layer on top and some effects from the um, pre-effects and the modulation. So number two, orange button. A bit punchier. So the variation, I wonder if this adds any effects. Yeah, so it sounds like there's a, a choir, a gospel choir there, which works really well. Variation three. Got a bit of delay on that one, a uh, bit of stereo delay. And the 
the sound is quite dry. It's variation, the green uh, light now. Quite a lot of delay on that one. You can hear it going off in the earphones. Uh, number four. Quite a big mix of voices there. It sounds like the CP style uh, stage piano and choir I can hear going on. of course try the variation background. Uh, <coughs> variation 5. So it appears we are getting a lot of layered voices on there. on number five. These are repeated voices, but just with layers put on there as well. And number six is variation. That sounds like one of the earlier CPs uh, with a string pad on top. So we're getting into 80s ballad territory here. So that was all of the uh, Electric Piano 1 section and its variations and the Electric Piano 2 and its variations. Um, I don't want to run out of video here, but we can just about risk, shall we, going into what is next on the sound uh, preset, which is piano. Uh, starting off with piano number 1. So, for a pianist, that's a nice sound, and I don't know if you can hear what's going on with the pedal, but there is an added effect of the, um, the damper bar being removed from the strings, which echoes around the body of a grand piano cabinet. I'll do it now. So, hopefully you're picking up the sound that's coming through the piano, rather than uh, the sound of my foot hitting the pedal through the lapel mic. So piano number one still, but it's variation this time. Piano 
piano number two. There's a bit more life to that one, a bit brighter. Uh, number two's variation. So that's clearly a little bit more trebly, um, good for um, if you want to cut through a band mix a little bit more. Uh, let's go to number three. This is quite a rich, deep sound. of number three. So some deep, proper grand pianos on there. Let's go to number four. sounds like uh, an upright piano, quite dry, not much echo on there. I like it. Uh, variation of number four. Again, uh, I think that's an upright, it's quite toothy. <coughs> and I feel like it's trying to get me to play it hard as well. Uh, let's go to number five. Must be an upright piano. Yeah, and this is the one I really like. Uh, I think it's Japanese upright. much character in that one. I liked that the first time that I played it and here's the variation of it. And that's a little bit treblier. Um, it's going to cut through a band bit mix a little bit more. I don't like it as much as the first one. Let's go to number six in pianos. It's nice, another upright and it's variation. That's very different 
like a compressed piano more than anything. So that's um, <clears throat> all the preset voices from uh, Electric Piano 1, Electric Piano 2, and Piano Number 1. Uh, I'll save the rest for another video, um, but yeah, that was pretty good, wasn't it? I've enjoyed this piano so far. Thanks for watching. Uh, do me a favour and press that little thumbs up near the bottom of the video. Let me know what you think below if you want to see anything else demonstrated. While I've got the SV2 in the shed, then leave a comment and next time I get some free time, I'll come and do it. But thanks for watching. See you in the next one.